Elder Lorenzo Snow next addressed the conference. We are dependent for information upon the Holy Ghost. We may be a little neglectful in availing ourselves of the privileges within our reach when we thus meet together. The gospel opens up to our minds a great and glorious future of exaltations to those who are faithful and abide the conditions, and perform the works necessary under the spirit of revelation which can only be acquired by a life of purity and devotion to the things of God. A knowledge of God and His Son Jesus Christ is salvation, and the labor imposed upon us by the gospel is of a twofold nature, temporal and spiritual. Such is the character of this dispensation, and the blending of the two together embraces every duty that constitutes the life of a Latter-day Saint. These labors should be characterized by union according to the revelations of heaven, so that our efforts may be in accordance with the mind and will of God. No greater joy can be had by the Latter-day Saints than by acting upon the principles of the United Order, as revealed in the Doctrine and Covenants, and under the guidance of the servants of God, who have been appointed under our recent organization, who, if they are humble and filled with the Holy Ghost, will labor for the good of the people. If the Latter-day Saints ever become a greater and more mighty people than the rest of the nations of the earth, it will not be on account of superior numbers, but on account of our superior principles, and purity of life manifest day by day. No men occupying a prominence among the saints can enjoy the confidence and esteem of those over whom they preside unless their self-sacrificing and unselfish spirit is made manifest for the good of the people. Many are now needed in the various settlements of the saints to lead out in the interests of the people, to open up and establish home industries, build schoolhouses, meeting houses, etc. There is a stream of constant enjoyment in laboring for the interests of others and accomplishing the great work that God has placed upon us.